Victor Harbour, a tourism jewel on the south coast, a beautiful place to holiday and to live. Since 2014, it's been the publicly declared home of Terry Stevens, long-serving Liberal MP and since February, the President of the Legislative Council, one of the two most powerful office holders in the South Australian Parliament. It's an honour to be elected to the President of their Council. Uh, thanks to the Chamber for placing their uh, confidence in me. I will endeavour to fulfil the role faithfully and diligently. But there is more to Terry Stevens's living arrangements than might first seem. An investigation by ABC News has raised legitimate questions about whether Mr Stevens lives here on the south coast and whether he uses that address to claim a parliamentary allowance worth tens of thousands of dollars each year. The parliament has declined the ABC's requests to make that information public. Let's start at the Breeze Apartments, a modern apartment block in Victor Harbour built on prime waterfront real estate. Until last year, Terry Stevens and his wife owned two apartments at the Breeze, numbers 10 and 21. Both were registered to vote at number 10. But there are signs that the apartment may not have been occupied by its owners. Hi, it's Craig Holm here from Unwind Holidays and I'm here at the wonderful Breeze Apartments on the ground floor. This is Breeze number 10. On several occasions, the apartment was spruiked by Unwind Holidays as a short-term rental. There's lots of space and really these are premier apartments. When the apartment went to market for sale, it was advertised as tenanted. Currently rented until March for $500 per week, with option to extend. The photos used to advertise the apartment for sale raise further questions about whether or not it was a home. The welcome kit on the bench, the house rules on the fridge, the mini toiletries in the bathroom. You can be living in Adelaide or Melbourne or Sydney and you can have this as your holiday rental so you can come and stay here whenever you like and Unwind Holidays can manage the rental of this property for you. The ABC has spoken to the new owners of the property who say it was sold fully furnished and tenanted. The Stevens' other apartment, number 21, was sold in January last year. It has a long online history as a holiday rental, including several reviews. The couple are now registered to vote at a third apartment in the same building, partly owned by a close friend. All the while they've been registered to vote in Victor Harbour, Terry Stevens and his wife have maintained ownership of this million dollar plus townhouse in Norwood, just 550 metres from the office of the local member. There's no question Terry Stevens uses this address to stay in Adelaide on parliamentary business, something he is entitled to do under the rules. But over the past three months, the ABC has observed Mr Stevens coming and going from the property on nine separate occasions. Seven of those were outside parliamentary sitting weeks. He was at Norwood over the Easter long weekend, a time when the Premier was urging South Australians to stay at home to stop the spread of COVID-19. This Easter, more than any other time, be a good egg. Mr Stevens paid his respects on Anzac Day from his Norwood driveway. So why does this all matter? Because for a politician, where you live can make a big difference to your pay packet. State MPs whose usual place of residence is further than 75 kilometres from here at the Adelaide GPO can claim $234 each night there in Adelaide. The allowance is capped at more than $31,000 a year, but the payments are secret. Unlike other parliamentary allowances, which are audited and published, the country member's accommodation allowance is not and can't be sought under freedom of information laws. Parliament will only confirm the number of MPs and the total number of nights claimed, something seasoned political observer Clem McIntyre thinks should change. Well, I'm puzzled as to why the Parliament is objecting to the release of that material. There's been increasing scrutiny of MPs in the allowances and, and the rewards that they get, and the Parliament being as transparent as possible, as open as possible, uh, removes any um, room for confusion. 
The numbers confirm three Upper House members claimed their full entitlements last financial year. Two of them, Labor's Claire Scriven and Liberal John Dawkins, told the ABC they do not object to their records being made public. But the Legislative Council itself has declined. The decision made by the President, Terry Stevens. The ABC sent Mr Stevens detailed questions asking whether he claims the allowance and to explain his living arrangements. The principal residence for my wife and I has been Victor Harbour for some period of time. I have complied with every parliamentary requirement relating to my parliamentary salary and allowances and I have conducted myself in strict accordance with the Parliament's code of conduct. Patrick Martin, ABC News, Adelaide.